logistic model for the Stinger is very similar to what we're doing for the windrower and baler. We are taking GPS data as the Stinger moves throughout the field to see how he makes the decisions on what bale to pick up next. Um, so that's keeping count of how many bales is already on the Stinger, fuel usage. There's really no machinery data coming from that vehicle, but uh, the GPS and the fuel usage is the biggest points because um, it's just one operator, so there's not a lot of labor input and that can be controlled. Um, the GPS, uh, we track his path, plus we, we know where the bales are at because of the information we've already gathered after we have produced the bales on the baler. Um, so that way we can say, we have this many bales, it took him this long to take, take them up, and here's the paths that he went. So does he start in the far corner of the field or does he, based on the field shape and where he's storing them at. We'll have some different var variables in the model where you have a longer transportation distance to your point of storage or you know, your point of storage is in the field itself. So that will help uh, give a lot of good information to producers to say, you know, maybe where do I want to store this stuff? Can I always get to that field and just pick them up out of the field when I need to deliver them to the buyer refinery? Or do I need to store them at an easy access point for semis even during bad weather? So that will help influence their choices. Mm -hmm.